What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Drasid, and today I have another episode of Battlefield Good Talk. Now, how this series works is every few days, I go check out the comments of my previous Good Talk videos, and I look at your guys' comments for topic suggestions or questions or stuff you want me to go over, and I take the time to go over them. But, before I do that, I would like to hear from you guys suggestions for another Battlefield series that you guys would like to see from me. I've been getting a lot of good feedback from this Good Talk series, um, I'd like to start doing another one on top of this one to start pumping out more videos for you guys instead of just good talk videos. So if you have a suggestion, leave me a comment. I'd like to hear what you guys would like to see from me. So now let's get to some questions. My first question comes from triple zero zero ot yet again. It's like three weeks in a row. He's got a lot of good questions for me. And he wants to know how much of a competitive player's skills do you think is natural being born with flash, fast reflexes and a quick mind? And how much would you say is acquired through practice and experience? Well, Triple, I would say definitely a good majority, if not all of it, is acquired through practice and experience. I remember when I first started out, I was I was a really terrible player. My first game was Battlefield 2042, and I was just pretty damn awful. And I was fortunate to play with a lot of good players, and they gave me a lot of tips coming up, and which led me to become a, a pretty decent Bad Company 2 player and a pretty good Battlefield 3 but I definitely think playing competition, playing with the best players, have definitely helped me out to become a pretty good Battlefield player and a pretty good FPS player in general. My next topic comes from Flashplate, and he has to say if I could rank my favorite squad perks, especially since there are a main five or six that people tend to choose between, and there's obviously only four spots in a squad. Well, Flashplate, my first most favorite squad perk is sprint. I like the idea of moving around the battlefield as quickly as possible, being where all the action is, is definitely a key part to winning. My second most important squad perk I would definitely say is ammo. Uh, I tend to use a lot of ammo. Uh, Pre-firing sometimes doesn't work out so you end up wasting a, quite a bit of ammo and support guys are kinda rare in battlefield, especially ones that drop ammo, so that's a, definitely an important perk for me. The third most important squad perk, I think, is cover. Uh, dice put in suppression for Battlefield 3, and it's just pretty terrible, especially the effects. It makes it really hard to shoot. So cover is definitely a important squad perk for me. Now, I really don't have a fourth favorite squad perk. The first three that I just mentioned are the most important ones, I think. Um, but for my fourth squad perk, I would have to say either go flak or grenade. It just depends on the map, really. If you're playing a close quartered map with lots of action, like Operation Metro or any of the close quarter maps, it's definitely worth it to have the extra grenade. Um, but if it's a nice open map and lots of vehicles and stuff, I would definitely say go flak. But yeah, excellent question, Flashplate. Alright, my last topic for today comes from IOBK Barrage, and he has to say, Seeing you on Battle Lab, you don't have many vehicle kills. I, by myself, a person who likes to play as infantry, however, many say that the true Battlefield players will excel in every kind of vehicle. Level Cap once stated that to be the ultimate Battlefielder, you have to fill in spots that your team is weak at, such as flying a jet, or doing other stuff, blah blah blah, and he wants to know what is my opinion on the subject and why I mostly play as infantry. Well, I would definitely say Love Cap is right about that. Um, I'm not really the best vehicle player out there. I have, the only vehicle I'm really good at is the helicopters. I've played in many uh, big name tournaments, conquest tournaments, where there's choppers and I would usually be the Little Bird pilot or the Viper pilot, depending on the league, or the map, rather, and I mostly play as infantry because that's what I'm good at, that's what I normally do, that's what I'm used to. I have a good shot, it'd be a shame just to not use it, so one thing I would recommend to new upcoming players is play your strengths. If you're good in jets, use jets. If you're good in tanks, use tanks, you know, you're only going to help your team out and make it easier for your team to win, which is the ultimate goal of any Battlefield game is to win. So that's about all the time I have for today for this commentary. Um, if you have a question or topic suggestion, please leave a comment. Let me know. I'd like to hear what you guys would like to hear me talk about. Um, don't forget to rate the video and don't forget to sub me if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And until next time guys, I will see you later.